That way from that, following sustained reportage from TV3 News on the alleged sodomy of 19 boys of a Kopi Junior High School in the East Gonja District of the Savannah region, the Ministry for Gender and Social Protection, after days of inaction, has condemned the alleged sodomy of her pupils. The ministry, in a statement issued by its public affairs unit, commended the boldness of the affected boys in reporting the alleged abuse. It says it is liaising with the guidance and counseling unit of the Ghana Education Service, the district social welfare offices, as well as the Ghana Police Service, to provide counseling services to the affected pupils. Now, a major concern is the lack of the mention of financial support for the boys as they undergo medical examination after it emerged, the cost of signing the medical report and the police report has escalated to 1,300 per victim. The suspect has been remanded by the Salaga Magistrate Court. Haji Azuera Ibrahima is the Member of Parliament for the Salaga South area. She's joining me for a conversation. Thank you for joining us. Now, I recall that you were instrumental in facilitating the movement of the uh, pupils, 18 of them, from Salaga to Tamale for that medical examination. Now we understand there's an issue with the cost per child when it comes to the medical examination. We are told some 1,300 cities is needed to clear at least one person's medical exam. Is that the case? Yes, Komla, thank you very much, and good afternoon to all your listeners. Yes, that is the case, Komla. And uh, let me first of all uh, go to the issue of the statement issued by the Ministry for Gender and, and Special Protection. You know, it's uh, very unfortunate. I've seen the statement, I've read the Toro and Toro. And if you ask me from where I sit, as the MP for the victims involved, it's such an empty statement. It's such a generic statement just to sort of give them a, a good face as if to say that, well, their voices was heard. That is not enough. They are the Ministry for Gender and Child Protection. And the victims that have been affected in this ugly incident range between the ages of 12 to 15. They are all children. Beyond the victim's report on which they did, the victims reported the incidents to their parents, to their head teacher, to the community. They did not do that at the instance of the gender ministry. They did that because that is what they had to do. So clearly, they have a certain sense of where to take their issues to and what was appropriate and what is inappropriate behavior. So the least the gender ministry could have done it's almost three weeks now since this incident broke to have sent officials to that community, remote as it is, so to break up the confidence and energy of the community to know that the government is interested in what has happened. Right. But when you leave the victims to their fate and you commend the police for their instrumentality, commend the guys for, for reporting, you haven't done anything. It doesn't solve the problem. The suspect has to have been before court. And there are processes that lead to that. And those are the processes that we are championing. In fact, the least the general ministry could have brought to speak to the member of parliament for the area. Right. I issued a statement as far back as 1st October, and I sent a, a copy of the statement to the general minister. No one has spoken to me from the general ministry as to what exactly is happening on the ground, because I have been on the ground. The gender ministry has not been on the ground. Right. They don't know. All you can see is a generic statement that they've given now without the facts. They don't know what is going on on the ground. True. I can and appreciate, I can appreciate your passion. I can appreciate your passion, Honorable, uh, about this particular subject, and we commend you for taking the step to lead this charge. But then we're asking, we know that the suspect is going to be appearing again before court on Thursday. Now we have the challenge with settling the bills at the hospital. What is your call? What are you advocating now? To sit down and issue this blunt statement, thinking that they are doing their job. In any case, going back to your substantive issue, Air Kovla. Yes. So I was asking, now we know that in a couple of days, the suspect is supposed to reappear in court. We also have a challenge still with the medical reports and the signing off there is. What will be your charge? What are you calling for as we speak? The gender ministry should show sensitivity. If they want the, the, the victim arraigned before court, if they want the due process of the law to work, there are procedures that lead to that. 
And part of the procedure includes examining these children, yeah. coming out with certified medical uh, 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 reports to the extent that, yes, indeed, the victims have been sexually molested. Once the victims are not able to procure this report, nothing happens. The victim, the suspect can, I mean, for want of a better word, walk free. Okay. And that is the role that the gender ministry has to play. These okay. are kids, 12 to 15, is the average age of the 18 children assaulted. The medical report is costing 1,300. Who is going to pay the cost? Is it a member of parliament? Fortunately, the two the ministers and her deputies are all MPs. They know how much the salary of an MP is. Is the MP capable of paying 1,800 per head for 18, 18 children? so they can get the required medical report so we can take this case forward. Who, who is the voice of government? What, 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 what structures are in place to protect children when they come under these conditions right. if their parents cannot afford? We Thank have you. to work to get a, an NGO to partner us, development case in Tamale, doing very well, working together with us to, bring, to see that this matter is properly uh, concluded. And the gender ministry doesn't even talk to us. They don't want to know us. They are happy to announce government structures, Ministry of Education, Ghana Police. What is their role? 